Hi, I'm at one of my uh, favourite places. This is uh, Tech Trader here in Sydney. It's one of these uh, scientific and laboratory um, surplus places. And uh, this is the warehouse where they got all kinds of, uh, well, as the name suggests, um, surplus scientific and laboratory stuff. Hybridization oven shakers. I'm obviously in the, uh, the oven section i'll show you one that i really want i'm interested in but uh yeah there's all sorts of uh oddball stuff here look at that look at that thermal chamber and i have no idea anyone know what any of that does no like you know if you're into your thermal flasks and whatnot and check out all this all this glassware and pipe work and everything else I have no idea what a bio line thing is and, uh, you know, they've got tons of microscopes and all sorts of stuff. But, uh, very cool. Let me show you. It's this gigantic thermal chamber here, but I was interested in... I actually got a quote on this. Now I actually get to see it. The ES120 um, thermal incubator. And, uh, yeah, I love one of these bad boys. It's got a test port in there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but uh, yeah, that's about uh, four and a half thousand dollars worth. Unfortunately, it does go down to like minus 10 or something, minus 20, something like that. But uh, yeah, there's furnaces and all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff. I love going through these scientific warehouses. I mean, you know, like what digital scale timer what on earth does that do i got no idea a digital washdown and four probes tech i don't know anyone beckman beckman made lots of uh, scientific and industrial stuff but that's obviously had lots of um you know uh, syringy type stuff these are all like uh you know pumps to help um pump the fluid through and stuff like that but yeah, there's lots of lots of really cool stuff here, and um, I did score a bootload of things, so you'll see that in another video. But let's have a look. And wow, there's I don't know, are they shakers? They look like shakers. Lab tech, yet yeah, bars, so you get your ultrasonic bars and um, sh orbital shakers and. Uh, any shaker you could possibly imagine but, uh, and you know centrifuges and your uh, so if you want to measure the spectrum of a, a doofahickle I'm sure that they will uh, be able to accommodate you and this is what they specialize in just um, surplus industrial stuff they do I think they do actually um, you know service and repair um, stuff here as well they have a workshop as well but uh, yeah Wow, is that, they look like old film canisters or something. Test sieves, they look ancient. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> leave it in the comments down below because I've got no idea what most of this stuff is. Got absolutely no clue whatsoever. But it's a fascinating insight into the um, scientific and... Uh, uh, you know, medical and um, industrial and chemical industries that all of this sort of, uh, you know, like, the, what's, what's this set up with the bottles? <laughs> Got no clue. But, uh, you know, old industrial PCs and like stuff like that. What's going on there? Lab glass, Cascade. Wow. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> Good. Thought you were talking to yourself. Yeah, oh no, you're talking to that. <laughs> it's weird. I'm talking to this. Yeah, <laughs> just showing my audience uh, all the very cool stuff here. <clears throat> yeah, they're, they're obviously got uh, you know their temperature blocks or something. Oh no, no, no. no? HPLC no. pumps. Yes, yes, that's what they. Right. Are. Yep. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Retros. Yep, got some HP gear. Yeah, that's pretty old stuff. Actually. Yeah. But we got some new, well, you know, new ones more. coming in. 
Oh, yeah. I've got some, some 6, 8, 90, they're all 5, 8, 90. They're pretty, getting pretty old. <laughs> how, how long does some of this stuff stay on the shelves? Uh, some of it stays there forever. Some yeah. It goes straight away, you know. It goes you straight know. away, yeah, yep. I know. Yep. Yeah, I think that's... Oh, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, these 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 uh, be snapped up reasonably quickly, yeah. I'd imagine. You've got this, this one as well. But yep. You've got somebody who might be buying that somehow. Yeah, yeah still that's... Finalized, but, yeah, right. So nah, it's market, yeah, it's pretty modern stuff. Mm. So, yeah, you know, fume okay. extraction cabinets and mm. all sorts of stuff. This yeah. is great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> great. Thanks, mate. <laughs> no worries. And uh, Varian, there's another brand that I know. Varian of Water Peltier System and. Uh, uh, electrofluoresis um, stuff. I've done a teardown of an electrofluoresis thing before, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, and then there's your glassware and everything. So yeah, if you just want all your scientific glassware, reflux condenser coil glassware and stuff, this is where you know you get all like you could actually blow your own, but <laughs> I'm sure that they've got uh, something that you need here for your. They've got them all sorted and categorized. So if you want to do your chemical analysis or whatnot, so if you're like uh, Thunderfoot, I might send this to Thunderfoot actually. You'd uh, you'd be going crazy right about now because I <laughs> you know what all most of this stuff is, but I've got no clue, got no clue whatsoever. <clears throat> so yep, and there's all more glassware. Geez, that's a heck of a. Um, I don't even know, you know, big decanter kind of thing i got i got no clue anyway yep and then all you got your little knickknacks and more yep sep funnels separation funnels i guess more more glassware volume flasks no idea and then your um you know your wall oh, yeah they're just like sampler probes and stuff like that wow wow tons of stuff Yeah, so obviously doing uh, repairs and whatnot in there, and uh, I'm sure they could probably uh, you know, probably do some like calibration and stuff as well, perhaps. But uh, yeah, there you go. That is. Oh, and then you've got uh, yeah, gyro rocker. I used to have one of those bad boys. Um, don't know what I did with it, but. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, these are all like a platform shakers, orbital shakers, and then you've got uh, various um, medical, uh, industrial kind of, you know, precision drill stuff, I guess. But, yeah, like, got no idea what that, oh, yeah, okay, that's just a centrifuge system. So it looks like a big washing machine, top loader, washing machine, but there, there you have it. That is um, Tech Trader here in uh, Sydney and they've been around a long time and uh, yeah I see they've got like another workshop thing over there and I desperately want that thermal chamber but yeah I got quoted on that one it's been here a while and I'm waiting for the price to drop it was like they quoted me over four thousand um, dollars so yeah it's a nice bit of kit that one but uh, yep oh well anyway Hope you enjoyed the tour of a surplus scientific laboratory place here in Sydney. Let us know if you've got something similar. I mean, this is obviously just, I'm not sure if they're the only one in uh, Sydney, but uh, yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a kick-ass thermal chamber. We used to have like giant ones that you could walk in and stuff at uh, Tally's and Surcell, the big uh, military companies that I've worked at. And that was, that was the run to the litter, jeez. Um, but yeah, there. If you have to ask the price, you can't afford it. So very cool, huh? Anyway, I'll show you in another video stuff that I've got. Catch you next time.